and gentlemen, we are back for another fantastic Hogwarts Legacy stream. And for some reason, I have no audio. set the headset here and actually get some audio. Maybe. Still have no audio. There we go. All right. I'll give me one second here. Let me like and share my own stream. Put it on my charger. There we go. Alrighty, chat. So as I was saying, we are back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. No, I'm ready to go, man. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Descendo. So let's look at our quest chat. So we have quite a bit. Depulso, Aloha Man, we got so many. Holy. Let's go... Let's go to the Quidditch pitch. Let's do our flying one. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. No there is. I'll be weak, certainly. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Ooh. Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, we troublemakers, told her and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps can't be I having am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Oh, Enough wow. This. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Oh, she's going to beat our ass, Chet. Slytherin Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh, shit, Chet. <clears throat> I actually do suck at this, but like, bruh. Yeah, 
You know what this reminds you of? This reminds you of like those old like well I don't know if they're still old. This is rather fun. But like those Rocket League races. Hey, how's the game? Well I'm loving it so far, Amber. Amber with the like and the share. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. Right now we're trying to beat the Quidditch cap or the Slytherin Quidditch captain. In a time race. Which I think we might beat her. I am a little nervous though. Because I'm not nearly as good at this as I should be. I'm loving this game, Amber. I would. I, I'm so glad I got this game. <laughs> this is rather fun. Let's go. A minute and forty seconds. I beat her by a whole forty seconds, Chet. Let's go. I saw oh, you play the other day and fine. has decided you I won. have to Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single <laughs> Oh, I have to get this from this game definitely. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself. I don't you know if for some reason I couldn't respect. see all that comment without my phone. We're going to tell her we don't want her respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult me. <clears throat> you and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. Oh shit. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Let's go. A minute 32. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Do you ever wish you could ride a hippogriff? <laughs> a minute 32, chat. That has to be like perfect timing. Perfect. Oh, that's where we're going. All right. Let's go, man. <clears throat> but yeah, Amber, this game's amazing. I I recommend it. Anyone who, even if you're not a Harry Potter fan, I recommend this game. It, it's just good for the genre of RPGs too. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. Yes, it did. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Nice. That's great. It, it is it I'm is great. To hear more. I, I would I it's just great for about this upgrade. The style of game. Be pleased, it, it's like a few games in one. Like if you're a Skyrim fan. How to address the like, I mean some people are, some people aren't, some people haven't even played it, but it's a lot like Skyrim, Dark Souls, like the boss fights. The boss fights are a lot like Dark Souls, honestly. Hold on, let's. What are we looking for today? Can we sell him some stuff? Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of So, so nice doing business with you. So, we want to keep that because we don't know what it does. Definitely want to keep that. So, 
And this is another thing too, like, I don't know through the first playthrough, of course, what I should be keeping, what I should be selling. So I'm just selling anything that isn't an upgrade, which probably isn't a good idea for usually these style of games, but, oh, we don't want to sell that. Thanks for stopping by. He's right here and he sent me a letter. That's interesting. All right. That's nice. We gotta go get those check out. Have a wonderful stream and enjoy your night. Much love. Thank you, Amber. I hope you have a great night too, man. Whoa, what? <laughs> That's crazy. Let's just take a hat off completely, actually. And we, we have to change this. I love that you can put these masks on. But I'm going to take the mask off, too. Alright. Oh, you can put the hood on and off? Oh my, I didn't even realize that. That's pretty hard. Alright. Purchase a broom enhancement from Alby. Stop by the shop when you can. What are we looking for today? Mm, I would love to get that, but I think I need to take Thanks some time. By. Hope to see you again. Rebellion. There's still a lot of stuff in Hogs mean. Rebellion. All these I'm gonna need a little more for. Can't go in there. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion. Well, I'm here. While I'm here, I do need to do a few things. You're back. Nice to see oh, Lord. you again. Just went right back in where. That's not it. Wait, hold on. Where's the Balso? The Balso. Rebellion. Once I get a little more, this is going to be so nice. It's actually fascinating. Rebellion.
Did I see a chest here somewhere? Akio. We don't want to go in there. I don't want to advance the story just yet. Like, I'm trying to spend as much time as I possibly can, like, doing side quests, upgrading my guy. Rebellion. That's a lot of fun. I need to go to... It's not Zonka's that I need to go to. Hold on. I don't know which one it is. It's it's whichever one sells like the plans for stuff. Maybe it times and scrolls. That might be it. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. There's anything else I can do. Today. So that is it, because we want to add those to the rumor requirement. Revelio. Here I come. It has to be something in there where you can get over there. Did I not go all the way? <laughs> I 
Now we can open it. Beautiful. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? There we go. So now we can go back to Hogwarts. Basil May. Chat, my dog's going crazy right now. Stop. Rebellion. Things you should be proud of. Things you brood. Actually, hold on. And that's awesome. So since I did that, what that does is it... It, uh, will check those items I got that we don't know what they were capable of. And it'll give us our, their capabilities and stuff, so... But apparently you can just Evanesco everything. Which is fantastic, because that's a whole bunch of Moonstone I'm gonna get.
We're just gonna make everything disappear, chat. All of it. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Yes. Oh, sounds perfect. Beautiful. Love it, Chet. We absolutely love it. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Wrong way. So now that that's done, Pop balloons are on Hogsmeade, and pop balloons are on the Quidditch pitch. And then she'll teach me Glacius? Alright, chat, this is a big one. So... This one is a big one. So that's one part of that quest done. And now we can pop balloons and run Hogsmeade. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
Here we go. Rebellion. One. Two. Three. Four. Bam. So that's done. So now we can learn Glacius. <clears throat> Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Let's go. Another Merlin trial done. We gotta find a troll, chat. Chat, we gotta find a troll and I don't know where. <laughs> Nothing clears the cobwebs quite like flying.
Revelio. Here. I can't go back there. Off on another adventure, are we? Aaron Shay. Rebellion. That's a weird chest. I can never face my Is there something I can help? Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't. Last Milo and his mad ski. Milo? He, all that. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. Uh, Milo's name for the Acromantula. I did. In fact, as he died, I saw that his. That's, that's weird. If I have time, I can try to collect the Ellen Watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Acromantula. Could you? I'm. A... So he doesn't actually sell anything, which is fantastic. The law in a quiet village like Hobbiton. Rebellion. Chat, we are looking for a troll. Hold on, what is... I'm confused. I can't remember what quest it was. Cast the Pulso on a Levitated Enemy. So I...
Revelio. Chat, we're still trying to find a troll. What do you have in store for me this time? It's like a place right out of a storybook. Hello, might you have time to help with an urgent you sound as if <coughs> Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thought. Yeah, we're just trying to skip through this. Fair and well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those Bernard. cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcraft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. I'll be able to put that to good use. Yeah, we're getting rid of it. Chat. These upgrades are pretty nice, actually. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Rebellio. No, that isn't anything, you know. <clears throat> Who lived here, I wonder? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. So we're still looking for a troll. Still.
Those are goblins. It's a goblin camp. Rebellio. What is this? Levioso. Alright, yep. We're getting the fuck out of there. Rebellion. Use a fire whiskey right now. And actually, that one. No, we want this one. We would all have taken our last breath by now. You weren't They say you are an explosion. My one. Dude, this kid can. This kid does not miss. Ah, uh, you ain't hitting good for sure, Mister Dallas. What the fuck am I doing? I'm like dancing. There we go. Ah, <sighs> no one to share in my victory. What's up, Alyssa? How are you? Listen with the like, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, we had a listen with the share, thank you. I appreciate you. Rebellion. I can't enter while mounted. Chat, we are still trying to find a troll. Defeat all enemies however you choose. Confringo! Potato! Superfly! Defender! 
Nice. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. It's a squirrel. Revelio. Another Merlin trial. <clears throat> I must sanitize my equipment highly contagious. Let's get the fuck out of there. Go just been getting sleepy. I feel you. Alright, well it won't let me go up anymore. Body. We're just traveling. Rebellion. Maybe Fall Guys tomorrow night if that's alright. Uh, we'll see. I might play Fall Guys tomorrow. I don't know, I've been getting really into this game. Actually, tomorrow... I think I'm supposed to do... Or go to, like... Buffalo Wild Wings with a friend. We're supposed to watch, uh... UFC. I I don't know. I don't really keep up with UFC, but I'll go. <laughs> beer and wings. Can't argue with beer and wings. Like But uh I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so now I can return to Madame Kagawa and learn Glacius. Grow and harvest Fluxweed. Uh, and collect. I'm still looking for a troll, man. Like, do I Google it? Do I Google where to find trolls? Sorry, I had out really much though. Yes. I got you. No reason to be sorry, man. I got to find a troll dead, man. Small bandit camp, hippogriff den. Chat, we're about we're about to Google where to find a troll. Because I cannot find a troll, man. I've been looking for almost an hour now.
inverted cave. Chat, I have to find these this troll. I have to find this troll, chat. Dude. I don't even know where this is on the map. It's on the left side. Holy crap, this map is huge. <clears throat> oh, I see, I see. Maybe I just don't have enough Adrienne said this game is so dope. Yeah, I agree. I'm trying I'm trying to find where to find a troll. Because I've been trying to do this side quest for like what feels like an hour now. Merlin Trial, Ancient Magic. Like I need I need, I need to find I got a map. Or a picture of the map. Which doesn't really help. But it's like a cave with an underground triangle. Like, dude. <laughs> no, it actually, it might be over here. It might be like right. It might be like right here. I don't care if it's 15, level 40, whatever. I, I can defeat a troll. <coughs> don't underestimate my power. Holy crap, that's a hike. But yeah, I, I love this game. Come on. Come on, buddy. I literally watch this all day. Perform a dueling combo. Brother. I don't... Hold on. Let me... Eh. Alright. Levioso. Confringo. The pulse. There we go. Expel the Yeah, I, I absolutely love this game. Rebellion. Probably the best seventy dollars I've ever spent. I just I love I love how it takes like all the good things from a whole bunch of different RPGs. Use the Pulsa to launch an airborne enemy into something. I'm good. I, I I need to go kill a troll. Like. If, if I'm right, the map I have should lead me. Right? Right to a troll. <clears throat> Apparently they're like level 40. So like I don't know. I'll figure it out. I I'll figure out how to take one down. I I'm smart. I'm a smart boy.
Is that it? I think that's it. Dude, is that it? Chad, I think we found the troll layer. Rebellion. I think that's it. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Legs are far too brief. Chad, it's a troll. I'm gonna get absolutely mopped. Yeah, that ain't happening. Oh, he's only level eighteen. Oh wow, that's, that, that works. Uh, how did you hit me? Damn. Hold on, hold on. Let me get all my... All my OPS... My OPS abilities. Eh... I timed that perfectly. There we go. That I'm actually beating this troll's ass. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Now he's quite literally beating my ass. Let's go. Oh my god, I've been working on this side quest for like years. Don't ask why I just walked between his legs, chat. We're not going to talk about it. Tried to size him up, I guess. <sighs> hey, hey, awesome game. I agree, Melissa. Wow, you got the link fast. He plays Harry Potter, too. Hey, I play it all. I'm a big Harry Potter nerd, actually. Little little fun fact about me. Um, I might not dress like it. I might not act like it. But I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd. I'm also a huge, like, uh, some anime. I'm a huge anime nerd, too. I'm not going to say which ones, but if it's if it's a famous anime, chances are I watch it or like it. Okay, so now we can do that. All right, so now we can do Descendo, Glacius, grow and harvest Fluxweed, and acquire all three combat plants. So the three I think are Venomous Tentacular. <laughs> Both Harry Potter fans. That's what's up. So what do I need to get? I need to get Venomous Tentacula and a Mandrake. Which... Somebody's over here groaning. Where are they at? Okay, that's nothing. Alright. Let me go to my rumor requirement. Oh, lordy. Let me put my phone back on charge. Oh, wait, I can't I can't grow that crap. I don't have the seeds. Son of a gun. Actually, do I? You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. So what was it? Fluxweed and what else? 
Let me go to Hogsmeade first. The Magic Neep. Ugh, hopefully we can go to the Magic Neep. Yeah, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Like, I had the original Pottermore account when you used to have to send it in the mail. Um, unfortunately, I lost my login to it, so I redid it. But my original house was Ravenclaw, but when I redid it, I redid Pottermore, not the Wizarding World fan club. Because back when I loved Harry Potter, when I was a kid, it was called Pottermore. But, uh... But I gotta go to the Magic Meet. But, um, I had to redo it before I got this game. Which I'm okay with being in Slytherin. Slytherin's kind of cooler than Ravenclaw. At least this way I can be a dark wizard. <laughs> Hello. Be with you. All right, brother. Hold on, Chad. I forgot what we needed. We needed flux weed seed, right? Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Do we need fertilizer no, too? Sir, don't keep a stack shelf. Am, am I just an idiot? Am I going to need fertilizer? I don't plant, Chad. I don't have a green thumb. So we got fluxweed. Okay. And we could probably buy a mandrake. A mandrake and a venomous tentacular. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to push it. Actually, let me let me go back to this guy really let quick. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Let me sell some of the crap I'm not going to use. Like that. You have a good head for business, haven't you? That I gotta go back. Oh, that's what I wanted to go to the room requirement for. No one can say I don't. Here's the, the, the thing I love about RPGs, man. You you get what caught and doing one side quest and you're like oh yeah i had to go here and do this and then you forget about that one and then it just it, you just keep going back and forth i just i don't want to i want to stay away from the main quest as long as i can i want to get as high of upgrades as i can because the main quests um this might sound silly but i want to learn all the unforgivable curses so the way i can just one shot people i feel like that's a it's a great idea I can't ride my broom here. Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Beatrice Green. Uh huh. What what's easier to get? Damn. I have the Chinese chomping cabbage. Let me get the venomous tentacula, and I'll just be broke. I can tell you go far. And then, because all I need to do is get one of those. Um, Hogsmeade, here I come. Where did you get that map from? Uh, what map? Oh, for the troll. I, I just googled it. <laughs> I googled where to find trolls at. All right. So what is what's something we can do real quick? So let's go and plant our flux weed first actually. We'll go plant our flux weed and get half of that quest done. No, not that chamber. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I just googled it because I I mean the last what feels like 30 minutes. I was looking for... Alright, so 15 minutes I'll get Fluxweed. Which is fantastic. <clears throat> Just so that way we can, we're going to grow some Dittany too. So, there's that. Let me throw some of my unknown gear up here. Alright. 
Let's put some new gear on too, chat. Ooh. Hoo -hoo, that's nice. Increased damage from ancient magic. No upgrades applied. We're going to put on that. I I'm also basic chat. Like, I want to change the appearances on all these. There's dark arts gloves. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty solid. I I'll, I'll keep that one. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah. Striped house scarf. I mean, now I really look like a Slytherin chat. Holy crap. Nice. It's my broom. I also have some talent points to spend, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got two to spend. Um, I'm not big on stealth. Let's look at my room of requirement ones. Maximal potion. I, I I don't really use that stuff. Like I'm more of like a I want to kick your ass and the spells kind of guy. Oh, the pulso to strike additional targets. These are good. Let, let me look at the dark arts ones. So I need to learn how to cast these. Which I know I gotta do a side quest. Mm. I, I think. Wait, hold on. What are the core ones? I didn't look at core. Perfect Protego will send projectiles. Enemy stuck with stupefy, remain stunned. Wigan Wild heals you to a greater effect. Let's actually get that. And let's get the Confringo one. Yeah. I use Confringo a lot. Level 19, chat. Let's go. Alright. So now let me not forget what I wanted to do. That's what I love about this game. Like, you're like, okay, well. <laughs> like, I just put new gear on. I was like, okay, let me assign this. So I'm growing the Flux Weed, which is good. Return to Madame Kagawa and learn Glacius. Okay. So that's where we're going now. That learns a little more. Am I not tracking that quest? All right, let's go learn Glacius shit. God. I don't think I've ever went to this class before. No, I haven't. How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became oh, yeah, yeah. I, with your I did. through the process. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. 
Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. Perhaps if one day. If ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. All right. Pay attention to your wand work. Glacius. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out of the Glacius. There you go. Catching them quickly. Oh yeah, chat. All right. New spell learned. Is this guy? What's this guy want? Does he want a duel? What are you doing out here? That's what it looks Challenging like. Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. Summoner's I think it's Court. Time you faced a real opponent outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. <sighs> Summoner's Court isn't just a game; it's a battle. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Let me equip Accio. Nothing to it. Accio. No. Oh my god, I'm so that good. One for the ages. I'm so good, chat. Look at that. Nice! Oh, that was fantastic. Did you see that? Holy shit. <laughs> Lucky shot. Yo, how does he control it? Um I mean I ain't gonna say Buddy's cheating chat, but Buddy looks like he's cheating. Like Get wrecked, bud. Well done. You beat me. Yeah, you're damn right I beat you. Take your L on the chin. <laughs> Bit of good luck, that's all. Watch this. That wasn't I'm luck. Lucky. I'm simply better than you. Oh! Right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I didn't expect him all to add the better than you part. Keep playing. The others. I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. That's hilarious. Chet, do we... No, we're going to tell him to keep practicing. Up, keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. We're getting some, re some respect out here, Chet. They're putting some respect on our name. Let's go. All right. Um, let's go to divination. <laughs> he said that wasn't luck. I'm simply better than you. Damn. What a, what a cocky ass response that is. Let's go to divination class chat. I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. Nice. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, exactly. That's a that's a cocky ass response. That's that's very Slytherin.
knock his cocky ass out. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who said it, so like... <laughs> Did he just sneeze in his coffee? So knowledgeable. <laughs> I hope those are I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. She said we now, would follow through. As you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces. He's of the one that opted for that dum dum. Yeah, no, like I was like, man, I didn't expect, uh, didn't expect me to say some, say something like that. What do we, what do we see, what do we see in our future chat? I want to say I see power. I see power. I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking. And I shall take what I must. I must take what I must. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills. Very strong and wills. Seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform <clears throat> our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. Yes. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Okay. Channel your magic towards your targets. All right. X, square, circle, triangle. Descendo. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training domain? Practice the sendo? Isn't it just going to push him down to the ground? Descendo. Excellent. I think you have it. Nice. <laughs> Actually, hold on, chat. I just want to do something really cool for a minute. Oh wow, that, that wasn't. That wasn't nearly as cool. I thought that was gonna be like wicked. Like I thought I was gonna like slam it to the ground as it was frozen. But here's me just ending up in disappointment. So we'll keep. Yeah, we just we want to make sure we have that smoke on us at all times. I'll keep Lazius for now. Rebellion. All right. I've always said that so we need to get. We bought the venomous tentacula. Oh, let's go. I that's that's actually just what we needed, Chet. So if you guys play this game, it took me forever to figure out what to do with these chests. So you equip disillusionment. Oh shit. We, we don't try to destroy our friends. No, we don't try to do that either. What the hell? So you equip disillusionment. You turn invisible. And then you walk up to the chest with the eye on it. You open it up. And they're all worth 500 gold, which is a lot in this game. 500 gold is worth so much in this game. Or galleons, excuse me. They're not, it's not gold, it's galleons. It took me forever to figure out how to do that. And I'm like, well, why is it... Why does it do that? So I actually found out the other day... I was just walking with disillusionment on. And then I saw the hatch on it unbuckle. And I'm like, oh! Nice. So I'm pretty sure that's actually just what we needed. So... Explain it one more time. I got you. Okay, so... If you see one of these chests, they have eyeballs on them, but obviously they're not open. 
So you have your disillusionment spell, which is the one that turns you like invisible. So you turn invisible, and then you walk up to it, and then you open it. So it's pretty much like if you see one that has an eye, I'll see if I can find another one. If we find another one, I'll uh, I'll open it. Yeah, let's let's see if we can find another chest real quick. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. No, it took me forever to figure out how to open them. And I'm like, well, I, I literally figured it out by walking by one and like I heard the chest unbuckle. I'll, I would show you guys how to do this one too, but I already opened it. How nice to see you, my young friend. Mm. Rebellion. There's nothing around here. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking peeves. We're gonna try to run away from peeves. All right, well, there's nothing down here. Yeah, if I can find you another one, I'll, I'll do it again. I don't I don't think we necessarily need it, but that was it. for you guys, I got you. Hold on, hold on. That's, oh yeah, that is a door I can go through, holy shit. Rebellio. Okay, we're in the library. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum. Arresto Momentum. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply nice. complete a few tasks and then come and see me. What are these tasks? Protego. Not me doing Protego in the library, loud as shit. Practice flying near the spires. Practice flying near Keenbridge Tower. So we got the flux suite almost done. All three combat plants. Shit. So hold on, let me let me check my combat plants. Because we have Venomous Tentacula. We need to buy the Mandrake, that's what it is. Alright, alright, alright. Like I my brain, man. My my brain's got so much to focus on. Rebellion. What is that sound? Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I I try to be sweet every now and then, Melissa. Okay, just the flu powder. I guess let's go outside. Rebellion. What is that down there? Oh, dude. We can just grab a whole bunch of venomous tentacula. Is there mandrakes in here? What is this? Oh shit. Oh, another identify or unidentified item. Let's go. Dude, I hope there's mandrakes in here actually, because then I don't have to buy one. Why did I buy the Oh my god. Chat, why did I buy the one that's in the damn greenhouse? For free? Rebellion. I need a mandrake. I need a mandrake. I need a mandrake. Ah, uh, bought the free one, chat. What the hell? Hidden Herbology Corridor. 
That could be spooky. Oh shit. Rebellion. Oh, come on. There we go. Rebellion. Alright. The Devil's Snare, chat. If any of you guys are... Chamber of Secrets fans. Oh, shit. Damn, the snare got me. I've already been here. Wow, so I just took damage for nothing. So if you ever see double snare in the game, here's here's another one. Lumos. Lumos. You don't have to catch it on fire. You just gotta show enough light, wait long enough, and it'll go away. Oh, we don't want disillusionment. Lumos. Okay, so I, I didn't even have to go down here. <sighs> Man, I, I I guess I'm gonna have to buy Mandrake. I'm gonna have to buy it. Well, where that? This isn't where I came down here at. Rebellion. What in the actual? Oh, I haven't. Confringo. Was it a sundial? Hold on. I don't have Wingardium Leviosa yet. Yeah, I do. What the hell am I saying? Wingardium Leviosa. Uh, that's not it. Accio. The Pulsar. I don't know what this. Could it be one of the new spells? Uh, I guarantee you it's Flipendo. Because that's the only thing that I think would make it spin. And I think it's supposed to spin. Yeah. Guarantee you it's Flipendo. Revelio. I sure wish there was a way to get a Mandrake for free, though. But if anything, we'll just go buy one. Rebellion. Ooh, did you hear that? Somewhere over here. It's actually, like, loud as hell right here. I don't know where it might be, though. Confringo. Well, it won't let me light any of that on fire. So my only gripe about this game, and this is the only thing I have, is you can't just walk up and, like, talk to people. Like a lot of, like, other, like, RPGs. Unless it's a side quest, you can't talk to them. But, like, that that's a stupid complaint. Because there's a lot of side quests. Rebellion. But if I had to pick a complaint, that would be it. Like, it's not like Skyrim where you just randomly talk to some guy and he's like, I took an arrow to the knee. Like, you know what I mean? But... Again. Uh, that sucks, though. Yeah, I mean, that's that's it. That's that's all. 
That's the only, only complaint I have. What is this? I've already been in there. Oh, so here's a fun one. You follow the keys. And it takes you to the secret thing they unlock, which is right here. So you gotta like smack it as soon as it's in the middle. Brilliant. Like that. And then you get one of the house tokens. And I think once you get 20 house tokens, you open the house chest. Everything leads me back to potions class, I swear. What are you up to now? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with how the game turned out. Graphics are awesome. Yeah, no, I I'm very happy with the game. Like that that like like I said, I feel like that's a stupid complaint. But it would just be cool to walk around and be like, I don't know, because you know, like in like other games where it's like, oh, you hear this NPC kind of talk about like a fake story and then you hear the other one like confirm it and you're like, oh shit, like this this actually happened. Like it's crazy. <laughs> I, I don't know why I would get too into like the stories of <laughs> oh, that's not it. We don't want to go there. I don't know why I would get too into like the stories of like a video game, but like I just feel like that that like lore is cool. Especially after you do something in one mission and, like, one of the NPCs are there to, like, witness it. And then it gets back to you and you're like, oh, yeah, that was me that slaughtered that group of people. Like, oh. No, 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 no. Where's it at? Let's go. Another field guide. Field guides are just for XP, chat. If you see them like floating around little flying books, like that one, you use the Accio spell, get it. Ooh, another scarf. That's exciting. Careful of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. Oh well, I'm buying a mandrake for you. Or from you. I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. So we want to grab the three. Once we get 3,000 more uh, galleons, we want to get the, um, what is it, the three medium pot thing. So that way we can plant a whole bunch of uh, seeds. Alright, so, we don't want to speak to Serona, so we're not going to do any of these because these are main quests. Um, acquire all three combat plants, which we have all three. We'll go use them, get Flipendo. I don't know where the spires are. Around the spires in the mountains to the southwest. Okay, well we can do that. Um, so we already got the flux weed harvested. Alright, well let's let's go find somebody to fight with our plants, chat. That's a that's an exciting one. So we, we got to fly to the southwest anyhow, so I wonder. Again, don't know where the spires are, unless she's talking about the spires of Hogwarts. Which I guess she could be. Like down here, I guess. Maybe she's talking about down here. the spire's like big pointy thing I, I, I don't know <laughs> that's how I would describe a spire anyhow like this this to me is a spire I don't do I think that this is what she wants I doubt it Rebellion. whoa actually though What is that? You can't dismount here. Bullshit. Let's 
South Hogwarts region. Let me relook at this quest one more time. Well, I'm off to bed. It was fun. See you again sometime soon. You too, Adrian. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming in, hanging out. Oh, practice. Oh, there's a locator map for this one. What? I, I would have never got that chat. I was thinking about spires on the castle, and here it's like a whole area. I can go get my. Uh, Seems a pleasant and pleasant I brought place. a friend. Yes, you did. I appreciate you. Let's go to the spires chat. Oh, hold on. Let's uh, let's use our cabbage against some spiders, because we all hate spiders. I can imagine, right? So. There's one. There's two. Let's go. Let's go, chat. I think she started following you too. I would greatly appreciate it. I don't think I got the uh, notification, but if she did, I'd definitely appreciate the follow for sure. Accio. 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 Let's go. You're great, ma'am. I appreciate it for real. Practicing flying near the spires. Oh, is that these things? You gotta go through them? Oh. Wow. I'm supposed to break the balloons. It's literally the same thing I did earlier. It's just a different location. A different location. There we go. Bam, all the side quests. Let's go. Alright, practice flying near Keenbridge Tower. Good God. Hopefully we can fast travel somewhere closer. Okay, we can. We actually have one in Keenbridge. Let's go. Oh, we're knocking out these side quests, chat. Let's go. I'll be a level 20 soon. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. That's a hippogriff. Oh, it's so fucking exciting. Okay, so these are dark wizards, and we're not going to fight them yet. Because that might be a storyline a storyline fight, and I, I'm not here for it, man. Not yet. Okay, so we can return to Professor Garlic. Alright, we're about to learn Flipendo. And arrest the momentum. Let's go, chat. Well 
Welcome back. Have you reporting back, Professor? Assignments all finished. Well, they're all finished. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quapples from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Makes sense. Precise, deliberate movements. Resto momentum. Nice. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Accio. Perhaps you can. Wingardium Leviosa. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? Sorry, never mind. The dragon should not exhale. Uh, what? Transformation. Arrest the moment. That's it. Keep it up. Nice. Well done. You are on your way to mastering a restore momentum. Yes, I am. All right, there's one. Conjuration. Oh, man, chat. Let's go meet up with Professor Garlic and learn Flipendo. Which I'm also excited about. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Perhaps a hybrid. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever. So, why does my character look older than she is? Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning myself, fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to oh, set. Oh man! Well, now, ready to learn flipendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. All Let's right. you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Lupendo. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just... The plants, please. Lupendo. Look at that. You're a natural. Lupendo. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Confringer, Defender, Expelliarmus, Flipender. Nice. Another side quest done. So I do want to do this because I want to learn Alohomora, which is great because then I can start unlocking all those like stubborn locks. Oh. Lord. 
Man, I'm gonna be getting a little tired, chat. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Are you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. Oh, God. See, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Dude, the last thing I... <laughs> you last and thing I options. gave him, it blew up. I don't so. know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few Dude. dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, Honey Dukes. brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Perhaps. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. One-eyed witch statue. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village, in fact, Chat, I had to wait until daytime to talk to him just for it to turn to night. The fuck's up with that? Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain oh, more man. as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Look, I can make him run faster, chat, by rolling into the back of his legs. Me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying <laughs> creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Can bring up terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired place. Some jackanapes used a bother to learn my greatest fear and use it again. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. Come on, brother. It is my hope that they Dude, just stop talking so we can learn a little more of them. statues bro. disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. Oh, in fact, I know two statues. Yeah, this might be the last mission for the night, man. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. 
I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do... Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However <coughs> will you get in? <laughs> Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Alahamora. Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. All the school was my oyster. <laughs> uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. I don't know Alahamora. All right. Hello, Hamora. Shit, chat, this is... This confuses me, chat. Yeah, I'm so confused. Like, it would make sense if I was trying to get, like, get this unlocked to this one. There we go. There we go. Well done. You're in. God. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one can <coughs> This is a restricted area. Poorly, I'd say. Revenue. Yeah. 
This must be the prefect's bathroom. What the hell is this? Ravenia. Hello, Amora. Headmaster's office. You're a hoe. That bitch call me, chat. That bitch caught me. Dude, no way I gotta restart this whole thing. I mean, excuse me, where are you going where I have to go? And you thought you be your field guide. I know you from the hospital wing on account of my venomous tentacular. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. <laughs> the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Revelio. What was that? I thought I heard something. Yeah, we're running. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. It may. Of course, I. But, but that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you? Now, remember. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Nice. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can... Rebellion.
Chad, I gotta pet the cat, man. Let's do it purring. Yeah. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I entered. This looks like the right statue. How what was the password? It was Defendium. Descendium. Yeah, uh, Descendium, there we go. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Chad, I know a time to save when I see one. I'll do this last side quest and then I'll probably go to bed. Don't pull so. I do no. I, I'll go to beast class too. <coughs> I'm gonna save, do this one, and then I'm going to beast class because I think beast class is where you get the bag where you can like collect the different beasts. The lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Which means. That seems to have done the trick. Rebellion. Cease to surprise me. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to? Defender. Leviosa. Rebellion. Actually, hold on, chat. You see that? We almost missed it.
that's coming back from where we were, so... Aha, got it. Rebellion. All right. <clears throat> this must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. No. Chad, there's got to be some good gear in there. Smells sweet. Must be close to honey dukes. Honey dukes. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Honey dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Let's return this to Gareth.
and then we will do the beast the beast mission and then I think I'm gonna head to bed chat Hello, Gareth. You got them. Incredible. Happy to help. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Nice. Lion, Snake, Eagle, and Badger representing each of the four houses along with school motto Draco, Dormians, Nunquam, Titillandus, which means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Pretty Hello, solid. Kamora. Chat. Bam. Smack the key into place. We're level twenty now. Let's go to beast class. Oh, man. And this will be it for us, chat. And then we're probably going to go to bed, man. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Poppy Don't Sweeting. Worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Oh no, his name's Gerald. His tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Dude. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast food? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. 
Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Nice. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Absolutely. Miss why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? Oh god, not measles. This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of measle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing. <sighs> Bro. What in Merlin's name are you doing? <sighs> tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really Shit, I don't want to kick this guy's ass. Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. The measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Now, where is our new student? Bro, I'm over here trying to feed the animals, dog. Out here wondering where I am. Hello, professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Damn. Stumbling over <clears throat> dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now... Why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed oh my God, to help more catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. More assignments, Shed. I need to talk to you. Come here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. The weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you? It really is much better if I just show you. 
Chat, I think she's taking me to a hippogriff. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Oh my god. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. You better bow, motherfucker. if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties. <coughs> one in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her. Let's go, She's chat. A dreadful We're baby feeding baby. the hippogriff, chat. awesome so what did you think of high wing i thought she was brilliant can't believe you introduced me to her i suspected you two might get along are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the forbidden forest hmm, perhaps did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust they'll always be there for you i've seen it firsthand with her how exactly did you and high wing cross paths it's a longer story but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Ooh. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, is power. the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Can bring you Rebellion. Chad, I think this is where we call it. Just kind of exploring. check our quests really quick see where we will pick up tomorrow all right again we do not want to do this one so the good thing is all these
all these I can locate on the map. Which is good. Or just about. But. Again, we don't want to do more storylines yet. And I am freaking tired, man. Alright, Chad, we're gonna go ahead and end the stream, man. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. Um yeah, you know, we've pretty much been live since I got home from work, except for like a little 40 minute break. So I appreciate y'all. I hope everyone has an absolutely wonderful night. And I should hopefully be on tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. All right. Looks like everyone's partnered. I hate when they do this to me because I don't know how only partner people are on at this time of night or whatever. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good night.